you feel like leaving a comment on this video, like, comment, oh, no. and subscribe. <laughs> no. <laughs> comment and subscribe before you leave a comment. In fact, leave all the comments you can, but only after noticing the clickbait I placed throughout the entire video. Because if you don't, it'll be kind of scary. <laughs> <laughs> Just like entry number 12. <laughs> And with that, and with that, we segue into our into our new sponsor, Raid Shadow Legends. <laughs> <laughs> We're selling out all over the place, folks. <laughs> <laughs> Yay, alien! Mm -hmm. Is that a deep dish? Is that deep a dish manatee? Nine? Deep dish nine, like deep space nine. There was a manatee well, I was about in to say space. that's a deep space yeah. nine reference. Yes. I want to pet a manatee. You want to pet a manatee? Yeah, except they're endangered. And so. Yeah. I mean, bees are in danger too, but yeah. you can find them kind of anywhere, I Didn't guess. Did you say you've pet a bee before? I've held bees before plenty of times. That's awesome. I've, I've pet bees before too, yeah. Like, my mom has my mom has the uh, the strange habit of trying to nurse bees back to health. Oh, that's, yeah? That's become... not strange at all. That's endearing. I was like, that's not strange, especially since they're endangered. I love that. Yeah, yeah so whenever, whenever we get like a sick or... or just, you know, we find a bee on the ground, uh -huh. and first of all, we try to prevent anyone stepping on it. Right. And my mom usually gets like a teaspoon and puts some sugar water on it, oh. and lets the bee like... Yeah. I love your mom, and I've never met her before. That's so sweet. <laughs> that was quick. You that like the, so uh, sweet. It's like the movie Up. I have just met you, and I love you. <laughs> oh yeah, duck. My master dog. is good at smart. <laughs> My master is good at smart. No, good and smart. Oh, good and smart. Yes. Bird! Bird! <laughs> Squirrel! <laughs> it's a good movie. Squirrel! Yeah. It's very fun. <sighs> Squirrel! Wait, Fudge, what was I saying before? Oh, yeah. Fudge. Like, <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> but, like, I, I honestly do get kind of sad, though, whenever I see, like, like a super sick bee, like mm -hmm. like one that had hit its body partially crushed, for mm -hmm. example, and mm. there's nothing you can do to help it. Yeah, we we had to like step on one to put out its misery once because it was like yeah. it, it was clearly not gonna survive. Yeah, and know? like like she was like she was struggling, but her her abdomen was like like crushed in half. Yeah, and mm. like that thing was not gonna live. It just it felt so awful because she she had the will to live, but it's like. Mm. Like you don't want yeah. you don't want the poor thing to suffer. Mm -hmm. and it's not like you True. can take her to the hospital and and, and ask for r emergency surgery on a little honeybee. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, they did surgery on a grape, so I don't I don't think it's it's that. Uh, they did surgery on a grape. What? They did surgery on a grape. No, Explain they didn't. Explain this to me. This is I have true. never heard this story. That's actually a popular meme. <laughs> they did surgery. The, the whole day did surgery on a grape thingy. You gotta look it up. It's, Do, it's, hang on. It's, it's mildly amusing. Hang on. Sounds I'm turning on my think, computer right now. I think they up. tested like some surgical equipment to actually you know, oh, peel a grape pop, and like, everything. Yeah. I see what you're saying. Like but, you use yeah. a grape like as a test subject kind of thing. I see what yeah, you're but then, but then uh, a lot of I think like one of these, these these stupid news channels and with the with the annoying voice, <laughs> yes. they, they um, reported on it and said like they did uh, they did surgery on a grape. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, that's the other thing that always annoys me about those things. Is like they never do their research. <laughs> no. If you no, know what they're they talking about, so you're like, oh, you stuff. moron. It reminds me of um, one of the sketches that we saw of um, uh, uh, the Ricky Gervais show with his friend Carl Pilkington. Oh, Carl Pilkington. Yeah, like, like, he is a national treasure. Yeah, and Carl a global treasure, not just national. Yes, and he was and he was talking about how um, how he heard that scientists made. <laughs> Glasses that were just the right size for a fly, and he and he was like, "How did they know that he needed glasses? Do they actually work?" And it's, and it's like that wasn't the point. <laughs> they they were yeah the they were showing Carl Pilkington. I don't know if you've ever listened to the Ricky Gervais show or like watched like the the animated version of it and everything, but Ricky Gervais has this friend in Carl Pilkington who's just an absolute dummy, and he. <laughs> He'll believe anything you tell him, and when he reads or hears something, like, he'll totally misunderstand and, like, draw the weirdest conclusions. So he had read this article in a magazine or something about 
how um, they were showing how advanced um, they had gotten with like micro um, uh, what's it like and being able to like create like microscopic um, materials and everything. Mm -hmm. And as an example of showing like how how much work you could do, they were showing we could actually create a pair of eyeglasses small enough to fit on a fly. And so they had like. Wait, don't don't flyers have these like these these uh, facet eyes? So you you have these these many 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 multiple like windows. Well, yeah, but it, it wasn't it wasn't like made so that a fly could like accurately use it. It was just saying that this pair of glasses, oh. it's a real pair oh, of I glasses, see. so small that it could actually fit on a fly. And so they have or like an they, ant, for example, they you know or an ant or something like that. So they had a fly that had you know a dead fly they had like mounted and put the glasses on to show. You could, you know, mm -hmm. you could actually wear these glasses. Carl Pilkington, not understanding what this thing is about, thought that they made glasses like as an emergency for a fly that had trouble seeing. And he was like, why would they understand that it needed glasses? Why would they care? How would they know if the glasses worked well? Because it Works. couldn't tell him. And, and the whole thing like, no, Carl, you're missing the point. It was just to show they could do it. Well, why would they do okay. it? Okay, Mr. Fly. Yeah. You've got to read what's on the board. <laughs> right, <this> exactly. <laughs> yeah, they're like dying about it. He's like, you know, well, why would they... It's like, it was just show they could do it. It's like, well, why would they do it? Like, well, to show that, you know, yeah. they can make things yeah. smaller. Like, you know, like for microchips, we can make microchips smaller and stuff. He goes, well, what does that have to do with glasses? Yeah. It just... It's just that it's <laughs> small, then, Carl. And, and, you know what? Then, like, I, I like find it... The, oh, uh, oh, oh, uh, sorry, go on. Uh, yeah, like, then you just with uh, written on it it's just like bzz, 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 <laughs> in yes. varying sizes yeah, the eye it, it, just, it keeps getting smaller it's just variations of B and Z <laughs> yes <laughs> bzz, 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 bzz. Bzz, bzz. <laughs> you know what I just, and then, and then oh. like every uh, every other line it just uh, rub your uh, rub your four fingers together um, <laughs> It's like stage directions. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and if it follows that to a P, like if it, if it, completely, if it actually follows it, uh, follows it, then um, that's the sign that the glasses work. <laughs> oh, that would be gold. <laughs> So I just saw. Uh, the, uh, if you've never watched the Ricky, you can watch it all like on YouTube, the Ricky Gervais show. Look it up sometime. Mm. It is super funny. Okay, no, I like I love uh, Ricky Gervais uh, for one because he's the creator of the British Office. Yes. And second of all, because of his stunt, he, he keeps pulling at the Golden Globes. Oh my gosh! Well, he's, <laughs> well, he's, he's got a point. Like they're so arrogant and full of themselves, and stuff. It's like no one cares. No one cares <laughs> about your opinions. You're a dancing monkey. Dance on the stage and then go away and shut up. <laughs> Take, come on the stage. Take a little prize and then go and shut up. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> like you come up here preaching about your morals when everyone knows people in Hollywood are some of the shadiest people in the world. <laughs> uh, oh, God. I oh, saw I the I saw the video of the grape getting surgery. Oh, okay. it was really emotional. It was really emotional. <laughs> If you want another emotional video, I suggest you look up uh, "Life of a Roach." Life of a Roach. Mm -hmm. Isn't isn't that just the, the book Metamorphosis? No, no, they would they would they're like small PNG images that being moved around in Photoshop. <laughs> oh my God. And it started out with with just the roach spinning in concert. <laughs> let's see, let's um, see. Oh, great. I believe yeah, I found it. But eventually, somebody okay. made like a uh, a whole story about it uh -huh. with the roach oh, getting a doing? girlfriend okay, and then having children. <laughs> oh, that is funny! It's a sweet. It's it's a bittersweet story. It's a bittersweet say. story. Aww. Yeah. And it it made several streamers quite emotional. I believe one has cried <laughs> on stream. Really? Yo. Oh yeah, my gosh! Cockroach. Cockroach. Cockroach eggs are kind of not nice to look at. No, they're not. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. You. So now I have a question. Ew. Did they cry? Yep. Was it a genuine cry or was it like your typical 
YouTuber, like, exaggerated, like... Like, Mark, oh, like Markiplier. I better kind of ham cry. it up for the audience. Yeah, was it a Markiplier cry? Actually, like his cries actually, I'm gonna, No, that's I'm gonna, true. Like, Markiplier... I can, I, can show you off, I can show you off the stream, if you like. I do pick up that Markiplier is, like, a genuinely emotional person. Yes. But, like, there's also plenty of times where he's like, okay, I'm gonna ham up how yeah. scared I am or how yeah. sad this yeah. is. Because, yeah. hey, the kids watching this like that, you know. Mm -hmm. I love when they put, like, uh, very emotional YouTubers next to like super mundane stuff <laughs> and they just have the little, the little image of them crying like it's a like picture with, like with... someone's buttering a piece of toast that falls on the floor and they have them crying about it or or like they're playing like the the one it, it, it was it was this one uh penguin server or something like that club the, penguin club penguin yeah. it was penguin. really popular for a while oh, it's very like, popular online yeah, yeah like yep. and like imagine Max suddenly getting banned it. from it or yeah. something or like oh you lost your connection and then you're just weeping <laughs> <laughs> like, no, not my Club Penguin connection. <laughs> this is the worst day of my life. Yeah. <laughs> or the scene from, from Pokemon where, where like, any, any of the scenes from Pokemon where any of the characters have to let their Pokemon go. <laughs> Although, to be fair, they play it up so much, like, it's it wouldn't be surprising if someone would cry a bit. That's, I certainly cried when I, I was I would say, kid. I know as a kid, I think there was one episode that made me tear up, you know. Heck, I would probably still cry if I yeah. saw it to this day. I love Pokemon. I know it's I know it's ridiculous and stuff, it's, but I love it. Well, I mean, hey, we were just talking about how we like to watch My Little Pony Friendship as Magic, so <laughs> obviously Fair point. being being adults watching silly cartoons intended for kids is, is fun. Although, I again, one would argue that, like, Friendship as Magic especially was like, okay, yes, we're writing a kid's show, but we're going to write this you know kind of like for everyone like so that's that's one like that's why it's so popular it's like it was like oh this is actually a really clever good show mm -hmm. um if i remember pokemon oh. i don't know if i would say was definitely written for adults in mind too although i would definitely say that after a while as the series went on it got pretty darn funny there were a lot of like big dads that I'd say mm -hmm. especially with jesse and james jesse and james had some hilarious jokes yes oh. they were the best um, part of the show wait wait, wait. If, uh, I, Jess? If, if i remember Jess? oh yes um, while Matt is playing, you have time, right? Uh -huh. And you can look at stupid stuff. I can look at stupid stuff. Yeah. I mean, that's, that's I her favorite thing to do anyway. So. <laughs> that's why she married oh, me. Oh, <laughs> 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 oh, man, I love my stupid stuff. I mean, husband. <laughs> <laughs> I love my stupid husband. What a moron. She's a moron. She wasn't, she's morosexual, wasn't it? <laughs> yes. I wonder if penguins can fly. Take me now. <laughs> Matthew, say something really stupid. I wonder if penguins can fly. Oh my gosh, you're so stupid. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, also, dear. speaking of things that we love, playing Gustavo and the Ratter is really fun. I hope I hope everyone minds that we're making random commentary that has almost nothing to do with the game Isn't now. Isn't that how we always do our videos though yes but <laughs> we kind of we've, we've always kind of gone with like an oni plays style where we just we have conversations and if it happens to be about the game okay cool <laughs> can i just say though i also really love the art for this game i know it, we've i know we've discussed this it's, before it's so, much fun. it's so fun whoa okay what was this what was this stupid thing that you wanted me to look up mcnobbits look in general uh look Oh, oh, in the Discord chat. Yes. <laughs> look in general, I just look at your life. That's the stupid <laughs> thing. <laughs> just look in general. That's what I thought he meant at first. <laughs> <laughs> just your idiotic <laughs> life that you are living right now, you fool. Who can say where the road goes? Okay, let's see. Let's see. I like Wait, these little, these little uh, goblins uh, or whatever. There's two level. videos. Watch the dancing one first. Wait. Wait. Bob Odenkirk says he's in a remake of The Room? Yes. What? Why? What the... It's a joke, hon. Oh. I don't get it. It was an April Fool's Day joke. Oh. Just why would they remake The Room? It's a bad movie. It's Why would you no, remake The Room? It's the, the best thing ever! Not... The only popularity I it has you, is it's, for... an, it's an excellent movie. Oh, sorry. Uh, you take that back. 
<laughs> but fed, only popularity fed up with this it has world. comes from its um, <laughs> uniqueness, let's say. So it's a cin cinematographic masterpiece, <laughs> right? <laughs> Everybody betray me, I fed up with this world. And Tommy Wiseau is like the most genius of movie makers out there. My my first wife uh, oh. was obsessed with that movie and thought it was... At, the first time we watched it was horrified at seeing Tommy Wiseau's butt on the screen. But then in later viewings, absolutely loved it because she said, look, it looks like his butt is made of Play-Doh. And she thought it was the funniest thing in the world. What? So every time she watched it again, she's like, look, Play-Doh butt! What? There's going to be a Baby Shark movie? Yeah, so it's going to be a TV movie. Um, Jess, you look, you, you're, you're in the wrong bloody... Channel. You said I'm talking about the. I'm not talking I mean, about the place stonkers. It's stupid to look at. I mean. Wait. What? What gen? Oh, the the the. Uh, hang on. This, the, pl the place stonkers general. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, oh, I was, I was oh. about to say. What are you? What is she talking about? <laughs> oh, it, oh, the the the, the videos. Sorry. Yeah. They're yeah, really videos. Yeah. videos in the normal stonkers. I, I, I'm I'm jolly. Here, let me let me go ahead and okay. I can't I can't have the volume up because then I'll echo in the right. in the mic too much. Yeah. But here, I'll I'll watch it um on silent at the moment. I watch it for animation. This one is Wait, dancing but, roach at a okay, concert. No, then Yay! perhaps it would be better if you watch it afterwards because the, the sound is essential. I, yeah. But still, seeing these people get all emotional over a cockroach on stage Wait, is kind of awesome. Wait, but you you can you can you can watch it on your phone, can't you? Yes, but uh, the, the the sound would still echo it into would the still mic. Pick up on the mic. Yeah. I see. I see. No. Okay. We're we're just gonna watch it afterwards. Alrighty. Or uh, also, Matt, you can maybe uh, edit later and post. I say I'll, I'll edit it into the video of that. Yeah. <laughs> that way so, so the audience <laughs> can cry as well.